All right. You might not know this, but the penny is not actually pure copper. It would cost more than a penny to make. In fact, it still does anyways. So if it was pure copper, it'd be too expensive. But prior to 1982, they were pure copper. Ever since 1982, if you were to grind away one side of it on sandpaper, you'd find that the inside is actually zinc with a thin plating of copper. And all these pennies are like that. They've all got zinc on the inside and copper plated on the outside. Now we're going to take advantage of this built-in, what's called a metallurgical junction, where two different metals are in contact with one another, zinc and then in contact with copper. We're going to stack them up, and in between each penny, I'm going to take a thin piece of filter paper, thin little filter paper that's been soaked in vinegar, and I'm going to stack it on top of these. That's going to serve as what's called a salt bridge. We'll show you what it does in a moment. We're going to stack these up placing a filter paper between them each time. It's important that you stack them the same direction each time, so the zinc is down and the copper is up. It's important that the filter papers don't touch, or that will short circuit the battery that we're constructing. And there we go. So six or seven pennies stacked up. Now we take an LED and you'll notice that it has enough voltage to light the LED up. All coming from the metallurgical junctions inside these pennies, we've created a rudimentary battery that can light up an LED.